loving it free. Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. She too busy being beautiful. Hey. Busy. What, talk about, um, what, what is talk going about? on? You know when you hear that tone, that song, the best song that's not on the radio, it's busy with B Mondays right here. Listen Vision Studios each and every Monday. And I'm joined. I'm joined on the stage today. They supposed to just, you know, came in and been my guest. But, I mean, look, I, I want to talk to somebody today. You know, I sit up here alone a lot of times because of COVID-19. You know, things are a little different. I used to can have shows but you know, weeks out. So, um, now, you know, it is what it is. You got to pivot. So, today, I'm going to let my guest, special co-host, <laughs> introduce this. So, sign right here. Okay. Hi, you guys. My name is Vanessa. I am a fashion designer. My design call is Darje Renee Designs. I'm born and raised in D.C., self-taught designer. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a while now. Um, I started back when I was in high school. It all started for me just wanting longer pants, and I started, like, with needle and thread. Man. I'm telling you, they discriminate against tall people. Man, we, we gonna get up, we gonna get all into that during your interview. Yeah, you know, but Dodge Renee Designs is my, um, is my brand name. I know this lovely lady right here who's doing her thing, Miss B. Went to school together, so, you know, I'm glad to be here. I'm so <laughs> excited to have you. I'm always in love when, you know, you guys give me your time. Mm -hmm. So, I have another guest in the studio. She's no stranger to the Busy With Me show. Always showing up for your girl. Uh, she travels a lot. She's all over the place. But, uh, um, unfortunately, she's home because she has some, you know, a situation. So, introduce yourself again. What's good, Ellie Cartier? Best rapper, last the best rapper, dad, man. Designer the swag bag. Me and King find the queen, build the bag. Southside, baby. We outside, baby. <laughs> Boy, eight, gang, gang. Gang, uh, gang! <laughs> boo, gang! Oh, no, I'm always, no, I'm a boo, okay, yeah. But gang, gang, war, they southeast, all of that. So, you know, the good thing is I get to share my stage, and I get to, uh, Look at some of my cars. You know, look at us. Like we grew up. You know what I'm saying? We we when I say we from the dirt, we from the dirt. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I'm so excited to to share this platform and highlight you guys businesses and all of that. But before we get deep, you know, we need to just, you know, talk. You know, and we just start with just something as small as how was your weekend? What you do? It's Monday. You, you know, it feels like Friday to me, but it's it's Monday. It's Monday. So, so we 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 just start like you know, how was your weekend? You know, oh, is this how you got to warm it up before I jump right into it? Well, let me see. You want me to start it off? You got me on you know, camera. Ask me. So how was your weekend? <laughs> um, no, honestly, my weekend was uh, it was it was great. Um, I just what I do Saturday. I'm just a mom, so it's just like really I'm just doing that full time and just shout out to the moms that's homeschooling, that's doing their thing all day, every day. Um, yesterday I, I had a, I wish I could say a little fender bender, but um, it was it was something serious. So, I mean, if I could just say anything, man, pay attention to the road. You know, we look down, we text there, we doing so many things and um, it just... It could have been worse, you know, and um, I'm, yeah. So I'm here today. I had a, you know, I'm here. So I had a great weekend. What's up? <laughs> uh, my weekend. I just got back from NY last night. Okay. Drove up there Friday. I went up there with my other girl. She a fashion makeup artist. So we linked up with this uh, YouTube and uh, influencer. And basically, we can't even tell you what we're trying to run to because she can't like them in a little contest. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's that's what I really uh, went up there with her to link for because I like she from the city too. And also, I feel like a lot of people are makeup artists, but a lot of people don't know what the FX makeup artist is. Mm, is that like uh like something dramatic? Like you know something they use in the movies? Like they just transform you into something? Mm -hmm. What is that? Yeah, I think it's like anything dealing with like uh when you add things on to the skin. And okay. the features and bringing it okay. like like regular like makeup, zombies like Avatar and stuff like that. It could be Avatar. It okay. could be Harry Potter. It could be anything that you add on to your body to make oh, it look okay. regular. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's and, dope. And it's getting uh, close to the Halloween. So uh, on on Instagram, you can follow her. Her name on uh, Instagram is Regal B Collections. Okay. So she does thirty one days of Halloween. So okay. every day she's somebody different. Oh, that's what's up. Shout out. Oh yeah, it's October. Yeah, right. It's Halloween. Where's the Halloween party? 
are these at? Where I don't is, think it's gonna be any. I'm, look, okay. Hey, you gotta do it, girl. Hey, we better live. We better live up while we can. I'm trying to tell you because there's a lot of stuff just going on behind the scenes that we really just you know ignoring because we so caught up in in our phones and you know we so distracted and that it's all part of a bigger plan so i mean start asking questions guys and all that stuff and put the guns down i want to i want to say that because uh, we had a shoot in um sixth street southeast um i really really don't know the details of it um i'm not sure if anyone got hurt or anything and so what I'm saying is, guys, y'all know how much gun violence is important to the Busy Will Be show. So I just want to just always say put the guns down, okay? So we're going to start the show. Woo-hoo-hoo. So uh, <laughs> I want to start with you. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so say you, I don't want to miss your business name up. Dajay Renee. Daje Renee, Daje Renee, Daje <laughs> Renee. You gotta make a name of it. Yeah. But no, I'm so super proud of you. So if, if you don't know, I've been trying to get her on the show for a while, it's and it's wild. just you know, um, it's just life. You know, mm-hmm. things happen, yeah. things of that nature. But to, I saw her on the internet, and she was um, uploading clothes. I'm like, look at you! Like every time I see it, I get excited. Aww. <laughs> and I'm just saying, like like she said, we started and we went to school together. We did a lot of, you know, great things together. Mm-hmm. I mean, our prom night was the same yeah. night. Like, it, it's really um, a relationship. Absolutely. So, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And I, I did send my producer some of your clothes. And um, what, what what's your inspiration? Just tell people, like, if you was talking to somebody for the first time, y'all, she said she a little nervous, so I gotta, you know, <laughs> if you was talking to someone for the first time, and they was just getting to know you, mm-hmm. and they wanted to know where you're from, and you know, what's your inspirations, mm-hmm. and what are some of your things you're wishing to leave behind? You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. So, let's just start, like, where you from? Mm-hmm. What's okay. your inspirations? Okay. Let's start there. Okay, so, like I said earlier, I'm from, um, DC. Um, so my inspiration is behind fashion. I, I think of fashion as an art. So it, it's all about the designer and how you see things because anybody can wear a pair of pants, pair of shirt or a shirt or anything, but I believe in the art behind the fashion and that's what that's what my inspiration is. And it's not always about, you know, black and white or stuff like that. It's all about just speaking your fashion and making your clothes statement speak louder than anything you know mm-hmm. so my inspiration just come from that and i and I, I like the um to do like um unconventional fashion like make dresses and stuff and anything beautiful. you know i made a dress one time out of newspaper Look, that's so, so beautiful <laughs> yeah so guys um when you watch the playback if you're joining me on facebook you'll be able to see the whole shebang of the show but when i tell you um her fashion and both of these um young both of these ladies are just artistic that's what i would say like when i when i see you especially this one you know i'm still getting used to this one but it's just like yeah it's very so i can't wait to kind of once i interview both of you guys to kind of bring it all together Mm -hmm. but that was like your inspiration yeah my inspiration is you know the art of fashion i just love all kinds of fashion people ask me what kind of fashion do you do whatever you want Mm-hmm. You know, because it's all up to you and how you feel. Whatever, whatever will make you feel good about what you want to wear, mm-hmm. I'm down for making it and making you feel happy and satisfied with what you wear in your body. Because okay. it's your choice. Okay. You know, if you want to wear an outfit with paint on it, if you want to wear an outfit with newspaper on it, then it's fashion. Mm. You can't say it's not fashion just because you were not and into you, it. So basically just making it your own. Exactly. You know, basically finding a way to make fashion your own That's like right. with me like anytime you see me i look the same so i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like real boring <laughs> you are not boring i know me that if i don't know you i know you're not boring at all <laughs> so what um what i want uh what are when i so you said you really got into fashion in high school yeah, like, you know, just pretty much with a needle and thread. Not no sewing machines or anything. You know, I never started with a sewing machine. I started Look at this with, dress. Tell me about that. that oh, that is um it's a jacket dress. You actually wear it as a jacket. You will wear like something under it if you choose to. Uh-huh. Um it's a high collared um dress, scrunched up on the side, little you know, slit on the slide to show some little sexiness or whatever. It's different. Yeah, so um 
I, this was um, featured in DC Fashion Week. Okay. Um, so that's where them fashions I just saw. It was yeah. Yeah. You know, some of them were DC, some of them were New York Fashion Week. Yeah, that's that, all. Isn't that, isn't that nice? How do, like, can a viewer, can a viewer see what we're saying right now? They can see it. Um, you can go to WLVS Radios on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see the show live as we do it. Or you can go subscribe to Busy Will Be YouTube channel and never miss an episode. Okay? So um, that is what I hope. I'm, I'm really reaching for my thousand followers, guys. So go subscribe to Busy Will Be. Um, WLVS. I mean, ooh, yeah, why not? WLVS uh, uh, YouTube channel, but definitely Busy Will Be's. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so I, I want y'all because really, when I tell you, I'm a, I want I want Illy because Illy, when I tell you, Illy got so many things going on mm-hmm. coming up. When I tell you, I could not be more super super proud because you gotta think like it, um, Illy runs more so with my sister crowd, you know, but you run with me, mm-hmm. and then what I'm saying is just. I'm so proud of both of you guys, both of because we. When I tell you, we are from nothing, and and one of my quotes that I I, I post to is, "How can you lose when you come from nothing?" Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like when I. Oh, maybe that was like I hit it on the nose, or something. <laughs> but one of my things is like, "How can you lose when you come from nothing?" So just really, truly, um, being um inspired. Yeah. So. You guys are both into fashion. That's why I connected oh, okay. these shows, okay? That's why I connected both of you guys. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was a good time for you to come. I had already had Illy booked, but I was like, I got to bring both of y'all together. That's good. And I want you to say, you know, just your inspirations and what inspired you. Um, And I got some of your fashion, too. So go ahead and just talk and have fun. How about that? I feel like my inspirations inspired me but by... Knowing where I could have been, hmm. I feel like now it's when you know where you're going. It's kind of easier because it's like you can set the goals, you can look, see the path. Mm-hmm. But just coming from south, coming from the south side, like the things that the kids are experiencing now is more so like the whole city is experiencing. Mm. When I was growing up, I'm not gonna say we experienced more, but I feel like. I mean, we got, it's really like only two high schools on the south side. Right. You're walking through at least five hoods to get to high school. That's true. Yeah. Only thing different now to back then was the athletes were safe to me. Mm. If you was an athlete, like, it was off limits. Like, you play ball, you play football, whatever. People knew no matter what hood you was from not to touch you. Now it's like free game. Now they're killing all the stars. I see a lot of young kids growing up from the city, and I'd be like, dang, they could have been the next Jordan. They don't even get a chance. They don't get a chance. Cause people be people be hate. I mean, I remember like people used to hate on you, like, oh, if you hustle, you get money. You had a car, you was driving at sixteen. Now they hating on you, and they feel like you got a chance of getting out. Mm-hmm. And it's a, then it's like a very blurry line between who really supports you, and once they realize that they not going with you, they become your enemy. Wow. I, when I tell you, I could not. I like, I literally have chills. I cannot agree with you more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so. <laughs> Yes, when they realize like they not coming, they become your enemy, and it's just like stay focused, guys. For mm-hmm. real, if you chasing after anything, take one leap, and you just never know what God will take you. Mm-hmm. I think too. I mean, a quote that I always go by: like a lot of people don't seize the moment. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like they get in the window, and it's a window of opportunity, and then when it start closing, that's when they panicking. Hmm. But I always look at I always do the same grind as when the window is closing Is when the window was opening hmm. So I'm kind of like a lot of people They become successful and they get money And you be like that ain't how they fall off Because they was never prepared for the success hmm. So me I kind of like take the proper steps to I know it's coming So when it's coming I just want to be prepared for it Because it's like more so like I'd rather not eat at all Than to fill my whole plate up and drop the plate You feel me? I like mm-hmm. that. I, I mean, like, when I tell you, one one thing that people don't know about the Busy With B show, I've had many entrepreneurs on the show. When I started this show, I never knew what it was going to turn into, right? Mm-hmm. And so all week, I'm going to be sharing all my old videos of, like, me when I first started. When I started this show, I was pregnant. I didn't know. I look crazy. Look at me now. Look at me now. Hey. <laughs> but what I'm saying is I'm sharing my story. And I'm sharing, you know, uh, just people that join me on my journey. 
because I never knew that it was even gonna birth into this, you know. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the show, I get to I, I get to talk about me, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but right now, I just want to keep enjoying your inspirations and what inspired you guys. Mm-hmm. I know Illy, she has a lot of stuff coming up. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm excited about joining you, okay. I didn't I didn't send a flyer because I knew it was a private event, so I did not. <laughs> What I did not want to do is just like overflow because of COVID. I know the situation, but you know, I do want you to talk about your shoes, um, um, and all of that good stuff. Cause I sent some things to the studio. So I don't have this pair though. So I don't have this. Yeah. This nobody one. has those. There's only two people in the industry right now that even has touched those. And I can't really say their name. Okay. And so they really, you see what I'm saying? I can't say their name. And yeah. so, so when I tell you I'm super duper proud of this, this, this young lady, man, she has been, her, her bag has been seen on Carly B, Marlon's, Will Smith. Her bags are in Rashida's, uh, boutiques. And so when I tell you, I mean, those is just the name of you because that's, it's just some things. That, and so when I tell you, I could not be more proud, you know what I'm saying, of you. To see you do your thing, it's just inspiration. It's just inspiring. And it's like even some of your quotes and just hearing how you think, man. Mm-hmm. I'm inspired. I'm, yeah. I'm so inspired. <laughs> I think the main thing for me, like, it's always been, be, like, be confident, not cocky. Man, Kanye is confident and not too cocky. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, I, it's a, a, a borderline between being cocky. Man, you, you know what I'm saying? It's just in the industry. It's like I always play the game as the fly on the wall. I listen and then I so heard, yeah. yeah, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Like so more so, it's like forever remain humble. You like once you become one with yourself and you know how to create your own happiness. It's not about some people be like I'm not gonna do that because that's getting sun. I'm not gonna do that. Like I, I, I look at it from. What's the positive? Like how people be like, is it, if the glass half full or it's half empty? Right. That's your choice. Man. Right. It is it's right. So it's yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Perception, perception yeah. is a mother ucker. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I, when I told you, man, I didn't even know she was as spiritual as me. You know, <laughs> I mean, and so and even with that being said, guys, I think this is a good because it's gonna be announcements all through the show. Okay, first of all, because busy will be got some. Stuff lined up, but one of the things, just because of the way I feel so inspired by Ellie, I just want to announce to you guys that um, maybe I should wait the next week. <laughs> no, but I got some great things coming up, but I'm gonna save all my good stuff for next week. But I do want to say that I'm doing a raffle, okay? Um, I'm doing a raffle for this beautiful sweatsuit that I, I mean that I have on. But guess what? I'm, I have all sizes up to a 2X, guys. So, if you are, you know... Full, and, and when I tell you, everything about my brand is very stretchable, okay? But I'm just saying that I'm, I'm, I'm doing a raffle. Um, and I'm going to run it for the whole week. I'm going to be sharing my memories with you guys. Um, but yeah, the raffle, a uh, minimum donation of $10... It will be, my sweatsuit will be included. I will let you pick it once you win it. So that's always good. I'm dropping my lingerie, guys. So I'm, it's some goodies that's going to, it's some goodies that's really going to be in the bag, okay? So again, I'm, it's lingerie. I have my spiritual bracelet. It helps you balance. I put my full intent into my bracelet. I let it soak in the sun. I sage it. I put my abundant. So it's really like the colors of the chakra. So on this show, I really don't always get into like that spiritual journey that I've been on and that I'm on. But I'm about to let a lot of things loose. Like I really, I'm really just at a point of just one with myself. So it was just something that she had said that made me feel like I need to make that announcement now. But no, the announcement now is, uh, yes, you got to be a part of my raffle. Um, I will be posting the flyer tomorrow. You will be able to purchase your sweatsuits online. I will be doing a deal if you purchase more than one. And I do have some things on sale. So I have a lot of great things coming up. All the ladies that have prepaid for your sweatsuits. Thank you. And um, because of the day that I had yesterday, unfortunately, I was unable to even deliver or mail. Um mail out the sweatsuits so be just patient with me um and i'm gonna make sure 
that you get your sweaters, okay? Thank you. I'm so excited about all of that. But yeah, it's my birthday next week. Did I tell y'all that? Again. Libra yeah. gang. <laughs> <laughs> Busy with B birthday is yes. not my actual birthday. Oh. <laughs> it's my personality <laughs> birthday. Oh, it's Busy with B birthday. Yes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bull gang. You met her, you met her, Libra. You also go a Libra. Yeah, she's Libra. You got to tell me about Libra. I don't know too much about Libra. Mm, Will we? Okay, guys, we gonna, what we going to do? We're going to take a brief break, just a brief break, just to get that busy with B energy up in me. If you on Facebook or Instagram, mm-hmm. we going to stay streaming. So this is the fun part about streaming because you get to just stay right here with me. So we'll be right back. Peace. with me i'm too busy being beautiful loving and free getting busy with me getting busy with me i'm too busy being beautiful loving and free getting busy with me getting busy with me she's too busy being beautiful it's busy to be we busy
guys, as much as I'm, I, I need to say this because it just popped in my head. I told y'all I'm freestyling today. But I would love you guys' support. Um, you know, I've been following this dream and this passion, and I just want to keep it going. I've started a nonprofit. I'm just, you know, I'm trying. I'm like a one man band right now, like chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> and some of the things that TR touched on is just, you know, not always feeling inspired and just feeling tired and just feeling drained and just feeling like, am I doing enough? You know, will I ever see? What I know is coming. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel it's so close. And one thing that I said for the rest of the year, I'm not going to be afraid to ask um, for, you know, you guys to help support me. Um, to keep building a legacy and being legendary. And shout out to Mike De D'Angelo because he always say that. I mean, he's being legendary. So, I can't be afraid, guys. But anytime that you feel like you want to support your girl and just help me keep chugging, 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 chugging. I'm going to start putting up my cash app. Everything is always busy with B. I definitely need your support. I know sometimes we get lost in the social media world where a person may look like it's just all together. But I, I'm telling you, I'm following my dream. It's not always easy. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I, I really want to just give anyway. So, I mean, I know I'm a healer. I'm sent here to heal. So, you got to tune in next week. I have a special, special announcement. I'm so excited. I, I almost like I wanted to skip this show just to be to next week. So, uh, <laughs> because that's how super excited I am. I'm so super excited. But yes, guys, if it's ever on your heart, nothing is too small um, to donate to the Busy Would Be um, movement. That's what I'm calling it. It is a movement. And so, yes, I got a lot of great announcements next week. All that good stuff, but for now, I want to get back into Italy. <laughs> so, um, Italy, so I, so I didn't, um, I didn't send anything to the studio because it's her event, it's private, exclusive. I was like, what do I get an invite? <laughs> so, uh, I want, you, I want Italy to tell y'all about this exclusive event that I will be attending. I'm excited. So, um, my birthday, uh, Thursday, October the eighth, uh. I run out a venue spot from a nonprofit called My Girls House. They cater to young girls that's uh, suffering from domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So that was even a blessing to be able to team up with anybody in my city that's catering to females. One, I feel like people cater to different groups, but females is always big on me because like a lot of fathers are missing from the homes, the mothers are at work. So I feel like the kid, the younger women are raising themselves mm -hmm. for real, for real. That's why they really pick the boys that they pick, had kids by the boys they pick because they don't know how to be treated. You like don't know how. It's <laughs> You do not know how. Or what love really is or what you're supposed to be expecting from a man because they never really been around men. You don't know. And even at my beautiful, sexy age, okay, <laughs> it took me a while to really get to the point where I knew what, you know, loving myself was truly... You guys got to watch my journey. You know what I'm saying? You, you may not even know, but... Again, that announcement that's coming next week, um, I'm so excited because it's all about this us. It's all about women, black love, black self love, just loving on us. I'm not even going. I'm just not going to box us all in, but just women loving on each other. Right. So I hope I'm warming your hearts. I hope you guys are getting as excited as I am to even make that announcement. But go ahead, keep talking about your love. So um, this is the first time I ever. I know these type of events exist, but it's the first time that I ever been to one or even put one on. So basically, I'm throwing a casino fundraiser event. So basically, how that work is, we um, teamed up with some people, have some people from the MGM, got a private location. You come in, you you get uh, funny money, which you can trade your money in for funny money. Because I'm a designer and I'm dropping new products, you can use that money if you win. I have a whole store set up inside the event to buy things with the funny money. I'm excited. So basically, um, I didn't even sell tickets. I have a, uh, more passes, VIP passes, but you have to make a donation in order to get the pass. But the donation, it comes with um, catered food. We got like high-end food, high-end bar, open bar. It's an upscale event, black and white. Black and white, that's the attire. We really more so, I kind of teamed up with people that I knew basically like from Baloo. I got people coming in from out of town, but mainly I feel like I never really do nothing in my city. I always feel like I do something for the city, but everybody like, oh, you always in Atlanta, you always in LA. We never get to support you, so I brought it to their face. 
Okay. So, and that's what I, but it's more so like I reached out a lot of people that have their own businesses, their own business because I want them to bring their business cards. I really want to make it a networking event because I was just talking to my friend, I care earlier, uh, DMV Realtor, and I was just like, yo, shout out to I care, DMV Realtor, now she only for three. Hey. Not, not, like, I, like, I, really, I really had to reach out to her because I swear, like, when I first, I remember I first started selling my book bags and it was like out of the trunk. I knew what I had, but people weren't supporting it because of my following. I didn't have a big following. And she kind of like bought everything from me. Like, from the book bags to the shoes to. So that's why, I would, like, whatever she do, I'm a supporter. Like, she only do it for <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but it's crazy. So basically, the event is basically the network. I feel like it's a lot of people like oh, create generational wealth. I feel like as far as we come, it, it's like we're not rich, but as far as like mentally, we rich. So and we put all these people in the same room that might networking. Right, networking. like you might not know this person, right. and it might not. I might be the icebreaker for you exactly. to know that person. I feel like I just want to be it's busy with me that night. I feel like I just want to interview you. You hear me? Like uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Now I'm going to have fun. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us about these shoes that's on the screen. You can't see them, guys, if you watching from Facebook. But you going to watch the replay because you're going to go subscribe to the Busy with Bee channel. But tell us about those shoes on the screen. So, uh, them shoes right there, basically, it's like the Illy Times, Kobe Times, GG edition. So, I actually was in Calabasas when the helicopter crashed. Like, it's weird. It's crazy. Like, we we, we heard the crash. We were like, oh, it sounded like a helicopter crash. And then we came outside like, oh, but everybody was saying, like, Kobe died in the helicopter crash. Well, because LeBron had just broke his record. We thought they was playing. But I was in Calabasas when it happened. Right. It was so weird to me that, I, like, I always shop at a thrift shop. I went to the thrift store, and I picked up this old Nintendo 64 because I, like, I play games. Like, Nintendo 64. Like, <laughs> oh, Atari. She's not the kid. Atari. Yeah, Atari, all that stuff. Don't go wrong with Nintendo 64. I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> know what that is. I, it's Atari. a basketball game. I didn't realize it was a Kobe Bryant basketball game. I threw it on the back seat because I just bought it because Nintendo 64. So my friend came back to the car. He was like, yo, the weirdest thing happened is a Kobe Bryant game on the back seat. I was like, bro, shut up. Ain't no Kobe Bryant game in the back seat because I didn't know that it said Kobe Bryant. Like, all this happened within five minutes of Kobe right. crashing into the helicopter. Wow. So, and just looking at Gigi, like I used to play, man, if people really don't know, I'm like one of the first females that play, that play Little League football. Like in a whole country, I'm really one of the first league. I play football all the way to college, like oh, DN. Wow. That's why I'm a football fanatic. So all you Redskins fans, DC, Stanford, oh, Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> get it popping. But yeah, so I made this in representation of them. Like the first sample came out, uh, one of the shoes is the number two for Gigi. The other one is the number 24 for Kobe. Love it. And on the back of the shoe, it says, rest in peace, Gigi, rest in peace, Kobe. Like... So just basically for like, it's it's two it's two different generations. I feel like with him, it's crazy because it's really showing like that shoe fire though. I mean, is. like when I tell you, I I like the shoe. Like you know it. what I'm saying? Like I like the shoe. The like, shoe is fire. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So you come to my event, you are gonna get exclusive drop. I'm talking about not dropping on drinks outside the event unless like I really just talk to you right now. You in this room, you probably can get it. But other than that, we not dropping. We not dropping them out. It's, it's like once they gone, they just gone. It's like it's not, it ain't even about no trying to decrease the quantity and all that. It's just like look, I'm not lucky. I can't make a thousand pairs. I don't have little people sweatshop. Because what I'm telling people don't understand, man. Look, I'm busy with B. If you gonna love with me, you gonna you gonna support me. I'm busy with B. You know what I'm saying? My sweatsuits are priced at what they are priced. You know what I'm saying? 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 By the time I purchase and do all of this and put logo, all of that, if you love a per, I mean, if you just love and want to support, you gonna support. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And when I tell you, most of my support comes from strangers and yep. people that That's I don't awesome. know. <laughs> this is all the stuff that you know coming up mm -hmm. next season. Coming up, I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because. You know, you think your support gonna come from your homies. Your you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was another thing you said earlier in the show, Illy man. People mm -hmm. just fall off. You know what I'm saying? They create stories about you. You know what I'm saying? They know you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I've been friends with people that knows my heart. You know what I'm saying? Re fuck your actions some of the times. You know what I'm saying? You not nobody's perfect. You show me somebody. Most women, they, they want to laugh at you, you know what I'm saying, when you make mistakes with these men, when you, you know what I'm saying, do all that. You show me one person that ain't let a nigga drag them. You know what I'm saying, that ain't never really been through nothing. You know what I'm saying? You show, one person, show me one person that never truly experienced nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all out here fighting this same race, man. And we just got to learn and, and just love on each other, regardless, man. So it's just like, yeah, just... Man, everything you said, you know what I'm saying? You when people look out for you and support you, like yeah, I one four three shout out to I care. 
the relative, right? Is there? Yeah, all of that. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. Who, all who, about support. Though. Who is your supporter? It's, it's strangers. You know, just like you said, you will always think that your support will come from the people around your circle and the people you grew up with and stuff like that. But you look and you see, you like, it's always somebody that you don't know that link you to somebody that you don't know. Then it just become a great collaboration. Man, you know, it's all about volume. You know, it's all about volume and it being in demand because we all want to be successful out here. Everybody want to you know? be successful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, when I tell you I'm so inspired by both of y'all, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and, and and just to like talk about it and just know that I'm I'm not alone. Like I'm not crazy. Right. That I I mean I really when I tell you I can show you like just my cash app and it's just lit with all strangers. Right. Everybody that's close to me look at me like really you price your sweatsuits at that? Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not Walmart. I'm not Target. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like but this. It's, but it's, but it's <laughs> funny because. They got something to say about how you price your stuff, but they'll go out and get something else. The same stuff, the same stuff, but a different name. Right. Or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so it's just like, like you said, it's just mm -hmm. all about the love and support. Right. You know what I'm saying? These shoes, like, look, you know, like it could look like something else, but they yours, and I want them. You know what I'm saying? Just because, so whatever the price is, and I, I told a young entrepreneur this. And matter of fact, it's a whole family. Shout out to Toya. I want to shout her out, guys. When I tell you her heart is so big. And in, in, in my darkest moment, guys, she took me under her wing. She just an entrepreneur left and right. I mean, vending machines and daycare centers and her kids. I love them. Shout out to Kai Glam. I want to shout Kai Glam out. But I'm just shouting these people out because what I'm saying is like, when in your darkest moments, it be those type of people that be like, nah, you know, don't even worry about it. I, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to shout out Toy. I can't even think of her whole name on Facebook. But guys, she's just doing her thing. Um, she's just a full-blown entrepreneur doing her thing. And every time I'm having one of those moments, she be like, it's okay, baby. It's going to be okay. You going to get there. I see it. Yeah, so I'm just, I want to shout out you and your family. Y'all going to see them on the show. She do like toy of toys and all that stuff. We're going to have fun. I love entrepreneurs. I'm, I'm, it's, 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 a, it's a blessing for me to sit on the stage with another designer. Because when I say, it's like coming from D.C., right? A lot of people, they might be like, if you're a designer and you're more advanced than them, not saying that your stuff is better than them, you might put more time into perfecting your craft. They put you on this pedestal that you don't even really know that you're on. But people in D.C., it's like they can't take constructive criticism. That's me personally because when I go to New York Fashion Week, uh, I went to school in Europe and Italy, I see how like the times change with their fashion how long it took them to get there how they perfect their craft when we go to d when 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 you go to dc fashion week i love my city but it's always the popular people that run the fashion the shows rap is down the go-go rap it's always the most popular people but it's not always almost the uh, the uh, the be the most talented person nah. that the person that should be in position but you know what though it's just like in those moments you just Push. You just keep on pushing, and you know one of the things that I would say because I mean I didn't think I would. I mean, trust me, I always say I always put Jeremy on the spot. That's you know he do listen vision, but when I sat in front of him, I was just this insecure person that had an idea, and um, I wasn't the like I I went through enough uh, co-hosts, enough people that was like I got you, you know I got you, and I mean it'd be times I'm just like oh my god, like can I do this? And I just kept on pushing. I had so much doubt in my head, but I just kept on pushing. And it's just like, when I could, y'all don't know this. I'm just sharing this. But when I could sit in front of a, like, here, and I could be by myself, and just do this, like, do you get that feeling? Like, when you just, like, I be like, oh, my God, I done did a whole show. I was, I used to be like, no, nah, I'm just going to do five minutes. Like, I'm going to do 15 minutes. No, no, I'm just going to do a commercial because I signed a contract. You know what I mean? I got to do it. Right. So, let me just do a commercial. I'm going to do a commercial, but I ain't going to go live. But I'm just saying, like, have you had those type of moments? Yeah, of where course. It's like, Share those you know, dark moments. Those moments where you sitting up at night in the middle of the night, and I'm going to, you know, I know she know what I'm talking about. It's been a designer. You two, we're all businesswomen. You know, sitting up at nighttime and trying to get things together. People don't understand the work that we put in to put out to you, to promote our stuff to other people. And a lot of people don't have a lot of respect for it. 
if they're just, you know, just a consumer wanting to get it, they want, and then you got the family members that want to, to shade you on what you do and trying to look at you like you're not doing something so big because you're not <laughs> there yet, you know, because some people, would they shade you. No, when I, when I tell you, it's just like, I, we coming down to like the three minute mark, right? But when I tell you, I feel you, like I know, you know what I'm saying? The push through is yeah. just everything, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I can say, because we all from the same area, I know mm-hmm. what it feel like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure you do. And one thing I can say from sitting on the stage from somebody that's been in New York Fashion Week to selling all her swag bags, you know, all over the world, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm inspired, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saying now that I know and that God done showed me, my visions done showed me that I'm speaking to women all over the world, you know, just healing. I'm a healer. So I'm just professing it over myself and... I believe it. You know, I don't need no, I don't need no, oh, I don't need that. I got that. You know what I'm saying? But I got my ticket, my golden ticket. <laughs> Shout out to your event. Yeah, man. Look, follow me on Instagram, Illy Cartier. Uh, DM me for a pass. DM me for a pass. I'll send you the link. Okay. You, you got to have something. You got to have something going on, though. You can't just DM me. So I'm trying to come turn up, but turn up for what? Like, man, you got to have a cause. You got to have a business. I'm you gotta sending have, you a link you, tonight. You got to have something going on okay. for, like, because if, if we're going to put you in a room around people that's got things going on, and we got to have you, something to talk about. And when I right. tell you her minimum, I mean, well, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this. I'm going to be careful. But minimum donations is, you know, a nice I'm out, okay? So, I'm just mm-hmm. saying, like, it's really, we really going to be in the room having mm-hmm. a good time. You know what I'm saying? So, um, hit, tell everybody where they can follow you. We, we winding down. Tell everybody where they can follow me at Dolce Renee Designs on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, that's my design brand. Um, your designer for whatever you need. Whatever you mm-hmm. need. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, follow me at Illy Cartier. Uh, Build a bag. I'm going to keep saying it. Be a king. Find a queen. Build a bag. The bag ain't always about the money. It's about your legacy. So if you want generational wealth, you always got to continue to like work. Your goal should always be your legacy. Exactly. Man, when I tell you I'm invited, if she, I hope she come, y'all. But I'm inviting Illy back for next week because I need a I need a guest co-host. You know, somebody that can take over because it's my birthday, right? So I need somebody to sit in for me. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, you guys know, like like I said, it's just like a, such a blessing. You guys have been looking for these sweatsuits. I swear, I never imagined. Like like I said, most people are strangers. Y'all, you guys are buying these sweatsuits up to the point where I'm like, if you want this sweatsuit, you need to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? That's and now it's just like I'm I'm doing pre-orders and everything. So guys, thank you for believing in the cause. Sweatsuits will be on the website by tomorrow, guys. And you know, each and every Monday, right here on Listen Vision, you go find your girl. I'll see you next week because it's my birthday. I go shining. Don't you go be complacent. It's